okay so we are going to start and we'll look into the book of Proverbs so I'll just start with the background of the book first so it is believed that the book of Proverbs was written by King Solomon so the year in which the book was written it's not stated and then when you read into the book of Kings that's where you get the history of King Solomon first Kings and second Kings you find information about King Solomon where he asked for God to give him wisdom because he was given um, a duty to lead Israel as a king after his father David so after David died and David was a man after God's own heart and Solomon or King Solomon knew that so what he did was to ask for wisdom from God and there's one thing that is stated in the book of Kings which was one thing that uh, stood him out from how he he judged matters where the two women who, uh, the two women one lost their child and then they brought uh, the case to King Solomon and then he adjudicated that case very well and wisely so so now when we come to the book of Proverbs it's where we hear of different kinds of things and life lessons and life advices most of which King Solomon shared so in the book of Proverbs, there are other writers of those Proverbs. Just like when you go, I think, Proverbs from 25 or 24, there are writers which are also named who, who are not King Solomon. And we don't have the history of those writers. We just have their names. We just have their names. I think two writers were mentioned. We only have their names. We don't have much of their history. We only have their names. So, but we, our focus for the studying of the book of Proverbs will be King Solomon will just say okay the book of Proverbs was written mainly by King Solomon but the Proverbs there are different writers who might have contributed to the writing of those Proverbs just like the book of Psalms the Psalms are the Psalms of David but there are different other individuals who contributed to the writing of those Psalms because those Psalms were songs so a similar situation with the Proverbs. So these Proverbs were the words of King Solomon or the lessons, the life lessons of King Solomon. Since he lived as a wise king, uh, according to the Bible, he was the wisest man to ever live. There is no man before him who was as wise and there will be no man after him who will be as wise as he was. So going through the book of Proverbs, that you will get to see what that means because of the wisdom that you can find in the book of proverbs so there are um, that's one of the things i'm give, i'm just giving a background of the book of proverbs and another thing about the book of proverbs is just okay this is a personal um understanding or a personal view or approach when i read into the book of proverbs i approach the book of proverbs as an advice book these are proverbs we know that proverbs are used even in different traditions and different cultures they are used to give metaphoric uh, statements to make one understand life better or see or view life in a different way similar with proverbs these are biblical advices or biblical proverbs which are given for us as humans to know how to best live our lives so we're going to read uh, the book of Proverbs from Proverbs chapter 1. We'll just go through the Proverbs and yeah. Okay, I, I don't know how to change. Let me see if I can be able to flip my camera and show the... Yeah, I can flip my camera and then I'll just show the, the reading. But before I do the reading, you can just... If you have any question, you can just type it down on the comment or... Let me see if I can be able to join you to be with me. 
so that you can, if you have a question, you can just ask. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Uh, okay. So no, currently there's no questions. Um I just wrote um what you shared with us that Proverbs is an advanced book that advises us on how to live our lives in the best manner, right? Yes. Through God. Yes. Okay. So I'm I'm with you. And I'm still with you, yes. Okay, let me just put my camera there so okay. I hope it shows okay. The Proverbs of Solomon, son of David, king of Israel. For gaining wisdom and instruction, for understanding words of insight, for receiving instruction in prudent behavior doing what is right and just and fair for giving prudence to those who are simple knowledge and destruction and discretion to the young let the wise listen and add their and add, add to their learning and let the descending get guidance for understanding proverbs and parables the saying and riddles of the wise so here from just the introduction you can hear what this book is about you can already hear what you're going to get in the book so this is just to gain wisdom this is to 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 make to give prudence to the simple so in the book of proverbs most of the time you'll find words like the simple um, or the fool the wise uh, or the prudent this is just uh, a differentiation between those who listen and live by these proverbs and those who ignore and do not listen to these proverbs and you'll also find um the foolish no, no not necessarily the foolish you'll also find um that he will refer to the people he's writing to as my children or my people since he was a king so he was writing this in that in that sense that he is a king okay so in the first few verses what we are getting is just the overview of what we're going to get within the book so if you need wisdom you will get it through this kind of a book if you need instruction if you need to know how to do what is right what is just and what is fair you can learn it and you can find it in this book so let's continue to verse 7 going on <clears throat> the fear of the lord is the beginning of knowledge but fools despise wisdom and instruction this is one of the most famous verses that people use that um uh, the fear the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the lord people just use it in that sense and they just leave it there they don't go down to say but the fools despise wisdom and instruction and if you look into it you will see and, and you will see and you understand why this is the case when people fear god they have to live according to god's instruction and when you look mm -hmm. into people who are living sinful lives they do not like instruction so they are regarded sure. as fools for uh, according to the book of proverbs those people are regarded as fools and the wise or the knowledgeable are those who listen to god so god. this is this is this is uh, what do you call this it's a it's it's a two way Thing. it's not a one-way statement because many people mm -hmm. leave it at the one way where they say it's um, the fear of the lord is the beginning of all wisdom but they don't say that but the fools despise wisdom and instruction which is also important to give the 
the difference between the two because when it comes to God, it's either or. It's either you are with or against God. There's no in between. That's just how it is. It's either you are a fool or you are wise before God. There's no in between. There's no moderacy in, in, in God. So let's continue. Listen, okay. my son, to yes. your father's instruction and do not forsake your mother's teaching. They are gallant to grace your head and a chain to adorn your neck. My son, if sinful men entice you, do not give in to them. If they say, come along with us, let's lie and wait for innocent blood. Let's ambush some harmless soul. Let's swallow them alive like the grave and a hole. Like those who go down to the pit. We will get all sorts. Sorry. I've gone too far. Did I, did I scroll too far? Oh no, okay, I'm back here. Okay. We will get all sorts of valuable things and fill our houses with plunder. Cast lots with us. We will all share the loot. My son. Do not go along with them. Do not set foot in their paths, for their feet rush into evil. They are swift to shed blood. How useless to, spare, to spread a net where every bird can see it. These men lie and wait for their own blood. They ambush only themselves. Such are the paths of all who go after ill-gotten gain. It takes away the life of those who get it. So this is this this these kinds of things you're going to get it through, throughout the book of Proverbs of um, people who want a quick way into getting things or people who just want to get things wrongfully. You will hear of um, you will hear of. The fact that there are men who are so rich, but they do not even sleep, regardless of their riches. So the similar themes you get them throughout the book of Proverbs, just like here, as as you find that it's in, uh, it's in, it's still in the introduction. So you, you, as I've said, that you hear a lot of my son or my children, because remember, yes. King King Solomon was writing this to his nation. He was writing this to his nation, so that. And it's mostly directed to young men. Because remember, back in these days, in the medieval days, um, the men were the main characters. Well, in, 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 in what you call this, in today's language, you say the patriarchy was ruling at this time. That's why you find that in the Bible, most of the things are men. They're done by men. The leading characters are men in almost everything. Um, that's just how it, it, it is. So even when uh, he's saying my son, this is directed yeah. to everyone. It's not necessarily directed to a specific son of his, but it's directed yeah. to all these people. Um, yeah. So for here, he's just giving a warning to say that do not become a thief, basically. On these uh, uh -huh. few verses, he's just saying don't become a thief because as a thief, if you live like a thief, you will die like a thief. Die like a thief. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. And, and, and the, what you call this on the last two verses. It says, these men lie and wait for their own blood. They ambush only themselves. Such are the paths mm. of all who go after ill-gotten gain. It takes away the life of those who get it. <laughs> so this mm. is like you, you, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. By the sword. Yeah. So basically such a thing. Okay, then, yes, yes, that's understandable. Yeah. Um, then let's continue. Um, okay. Out in the open, wisdom calls aloud. Oh, and this is another thing. You will hear wisdom being referred to she also. Like she calls, she yells, she invites, she, she dwells, mm. she rejoices. So like that she is a figurative language that is whenever you hear it, just know that it's referring to the wisdom. That's why the uh, Proverbs 31 
the, the last book, Proverbs, that one, the woman mm. of Proverbs. Many women uh, would love that verse. Love so, that verse. Mm. Because it says, she does this, she does this, and she does this. This is not necessarily referring to a woman, but it's referring to wisdom. So if wisdom. it's wisdom that is to be carried by a woman, so when that she is used, that means it's a wise woman. It's a woman filled with I'm wisdom. Always wise for oh, okay. That's why the people, a lot of people love the Proverbs 31 woman. So yeah. because she's a wise woman. It's not just that she she does these things, she does these things, but when you see that she is wisdom, so you'll also hear this a lot. You'll hear my children, my son, and she yeah. wisdom yeah. calls and those kinds of things. So let's just proceed. <laughs> She raises her voice in the public square. On top of the wall, she cries out. At the city gate, she makes a speech. How long mm -hmm. will you, who are simple, love your simple ways? How long will you mock delight? Will you mock us delight in mockery? And fools hate knowledge. Repent and at my rebuke. Then I will pour out my thoughts to you. I will make known to you my teachings. But since you refuse to listen when I call, and no one pays attention when I stretch out my hand, since you disregard all my advice and do not accept my rebuke, in I, in turn, will laugh when disaster strikes you. I will mock when calamity overtakes you. When calamity overtakes you like a storm, when disaster sweeps over you like a whirlwind, when distress and trouble overwhelm you and then they will call out to me i will not answer they will look for me and they will not find me since they hated knowledge and did not choose to fear the lord since they would not accept my advice and spend my rebuke since they would not accept my advice and spend my rebuke they will eat the fruit of their ways and be filled with the fruit of their schemes for the wayward ones of the simple will the waywardness of the simple will kill them and the complacency the complacency of fools will destroy them but whoever listens to me will live in safety and be at ease without fear of harm okay so we've read it all i will just now go through uh go through those verses again so here wisdom is rebuking which is a beautiful thing and before we get into this uh for, for the above voices, voices i don't know if you have anything to say or if you have a question regarding the voice the, the verses that we've passed through uh, i just wanted to to say i do understand now uh proverbs where it start where it starts rather and whenever i heard the saying that people love shortcuts and uh, the saying that says don't become a thief or you will die as a thief um in in our did i say communities in our world today we see that a lot that's why i wrote i also think in the world we live in we see a lot of people who love shortcuts and think everything that comes of them shortcuts, you know, mm -hmm. and that's what they don't, I don't think it's, they want to take ownership rather of saying, this is how we're going to do things. Rather, they just want life like that, you know. Mm -hmm. And I also want to ask, how do you view people like that? What, how do you see people like that um what what do you say about them do you just give them to say i give them to the lord or, or what happens okay let me okay i need to fully understand so you're asking Perry, what do you do with such people who are living in that man yes okay so uh, as we go down uh you get to see when wisdom is calling it says, out in the open, she raises a voice to the public square. On top of the wall, mm. she cries out at the city gates and she makes a speech. 
what is the purpose of making a speech what is the purpose of calling out to people what is the purpose of reaching out to people calling people out yes, yes. the only purpose is to assist them and is to help them and is to offer them mm-hmm. something that's what politicians do that's why artists do that's why whenever they speak they speak to a lot of crowds they reach out mm-hmm. to a lot of people mm-hmm. so yes. I, I, will, I, will, I will start from what do you call this? So we'll start from the enterprise level and then come uh-huh. back down to our application as like individuals. So yes. this is what wisdom is calling to everyone. And another thing is wisdom is just the fear of the Lord. And the fear of the Lord is knowing the truth. Yeah. And knowing yeah. the truth is accepting things as they are. Yes, yes. True. That's why she's calling from the public square where everyone, everyone has access to this. Yes. It's not limited to, to anyone. It's a public square. That means everyone has access to this. The same with God. Everyone has access to God. Yes. The church is free. That. There's no interest fee to a church. There's, yes. no, there's no interest fee to, like, there's no charge for you to and there's no charge for you to live for God. It's free. So, but how long will people love their simple ways? How long will those people that you're talking about love the, to do the things that they do? That is something that they con- they are going to continue to do. This is something that they just love doing. It's easy. It's simple. That's yeah. why they do it. And they keep on doing it because it's an easy thing. It's a simple thing. Yeah. And then this is what it continues to say. It says, repent at my rebuke. So I'm, I'm rebuking you. So you should repent when I rebuke you. You should change from those simple ways. You should change from not loving. You should change. Um, Okay, I yeah. see there's someone who's requesting to go on live with me. Uh, he's my brother from church. So, um, brother Colin, we are discussing the book of Proverbs. So, if you would have something to share with us, I'm going to invite you now and then uh, hear you out. So, my sister, brother Colin, has asked a question to say how there are people in the world who are living in simple ways who want quick things to happen to them looking into yeah. the effect of what proverbs is saying regarding those kinds of people so what is the best advice that you can give to us or how do we um, interact or how do we approach or how do we relate to those people or what can we do about people who are not living in a good way or who are just living wanting fast yeah. things as you can see how fast the world is going yeah. So, um, mm-hmm. Brother Colin, I'm going to invite you, and if you, since I know you're a man of God who loves the Word of God also, so you can just share something with us. And do we judge those people in in society and say, oh, they'll find their way, oh, it, it will come to them, you know? How, so you say we must support them, right? <laughs> so we, we don't judge them because you see uh, okay. when you see what uh, at the end here wisdom is like it is as i've said is the wisdom is as things are so i was yes. unable to add that brother colin wisdom is as things are um i i, I don't know if uh, I, I will okay wisdom is as things are i won't give the example i wanted to give so there are things which are just like that regardless of anything mm-hmm. So people don't like even such things because those things are just the way they are. Let me say uh, I'm I'm built not symmetrically. I don't physically look symmetrical. And then we know that the judgment of beauty in humans is symmetry. You find that that's just how I am. I physically look like that. But I do not wish to accept it. And I lie to myself and I think differently from how i actually am but whenever Mm -hmm. everyone looks at me they can see and that they can see as i am that's just the way it is or that's just the way i am but you find that i don't like how i am 
and I lie to myself and I try to believe other things about myself or tell myself other things about what I am. That's when wisdom says, I will laugh at those people because they did not accept me. Mm. There are so many things which you know that people know that this is how things are or this is how things should go, but they don't do those things. No, they don't. They prefer the simple way. They don't prefer the... The easy way, yeah. Yeah, they prefer, they prefer the easy way. They don't prefer mm. anything that requires something from them. That's yeah. just how people are. So uh, how we relate to them, we don't judge, we don't judge people because they okay. do not know. They lack knowledge. They lack wisdom. What we mm-hmm. do is we give them wisdom. We share wisdom mm-hmm. with them. Why? Yeah. Because when you share wisdom, wisdom with a person, it does something to them. It makes them see. It removes the scales which are on their eyes so that they are now mm-hmm. able to see. Because you see, mm-hmm. the simple or the fool they just don't have the ability to see things as they are. That's the fault of the fool. So you as someone who can see, you as someone who is wise, what you do is you just share your wisdom. You just share your wisdom and hope for those scales to fall off of that person so that they are now able to see the truth. So now they are, they are changed from being a foolish person to a wise person. Because in that way, they will be able to live a good life. Let's give a realistic example. Let's say you have a friend. She loves going out partying. She loves good things. She loves looking beautiful. But she does not have the money to afford those beautiful things. And she does not have the money to afford going out every weekend. Meaning, she has to resort to having men do that for her. Then what do you say to such a person? How do you help such a person? Those are the kinds of uh, questions you yeah. can ask. But how yeah. do you help people who, who want quick things, who just want to have things, and they are not willing to go through the processes of those things? You know, we know that as things are, or how things are, is that if you have enough money, you can be able to do this going out every night and looking as beautiful as you want. Yeah. But if you don't have yeah. enough money, you might end up resorting to going out with men. So what do how do I how do I help this person? You talk to them, you share the information with them, you share what you know with them, mm-hmm. you share the wisdom that you know and mm-hmm. don't try to be too wise or don't try to be mm-hmm. too understanding or don't try to be too go on just, their level yes you just talk to them as a normal person and sometimes try to understand why they are doing what they are doing because sometimes when you're looking at something from afar you are unable to rightfully judge the situation okay. you see we are called to judge that's another thing that people don't realize. We are called to judge situations because we can only be able to um, adjudicate a situation which you have judged. But if you've not judged the situation, mm-hmm. you won't be able to adjudicate it or you won't be able to resolve it. And when you okay. judge a, situ- a situation, you, you ask whether this situation is a good situation or a bad situation. That's the judgment you give. So given this lady, you can see that, okay, she is doing things which are not good. That's a judgment. Yeah. Then what do you do now? Because they are not good, they are going to harm her. They are going to hurt her over the long period. So what you do is you talk to her and show her some of these things that will happen. Because we mm-hmm. all know the results of such actions. We all know. Mm-hmm. It, because it's as it is. But why do people continue to do it? And how do you help them? That's a tough one. Right? Exactly. I think we need to be strong enough uh, also because uh, when you go and help these people emotionally, physically, I think you just need to be ready for um, their, un- their questions rather and give them answers and um, yes, pray that they do take time uh, yeah. and learn. 
brother and, and, and learn from you. Uh, so I think you need to be yes, a strong person, uh, obviously emotionally, physically, somebody who can withstand uh, no matter what, what questions or what uh, issues or anger that they have. Yes, just pray that they, they kind of see the light through. Mm -hmm. Through the, the very same that the very same way you see it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So it is quite a, a big one, or rather, not. Um, you can't put. I, I think you can't say uh, you fully understand because you're not uh, in their shoes at that time, and you, you don't know what's what's causing them to be like that, you know. Mm. But yes, patience uh, and prayer, I guess, uh, while going through such. Mm. Yes, so as, as I mentioned, you see, uh, there is this brutal truth or reality that okay. there are results for everything in the world. So being foolish has results and being wise. Yeah as a result. So I'll yeah. go back to, to the book and then just read, read the, the last uh, six verses to show the result and the, the results of wisdom and the results of foolishness. So okay. in, in fact, uh, what do you call this? It'll start from verse 25. So from verse 25 it says, since you disregard all my advice and do not accept my rebuke, so that means you've already talked to this person. You've already shared the information with them that my sister, I love you, you are my friend. And I only want mm -hmm. the best for you. Because you for see, you. sometimes when we talk to people, we don't clarify that. We don't show that. Most especially uh -huh. people who are in relationships, parents, yeah. children, partners, teachers with school children. Like, we yes. don't clarify that. We are doing this because we love you. We're not just doing this because we want we are judgmental, we, we hate you, but in order for 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 you to live a good life, we have to tell yeah. you these hard things so that you don't face the hard consequences of those things. Because remember, actions have consequences. That's why I said mm -hmm. there is a result for being a foolish person and there's a result for being a wise person. Yes, so yeah. let's, let's listen to the results of being foolish and the results of being wise. So yeah. since you did not, you, you disregard all my advice and do not accept my rebuke, in turn, I will laugh when disaster strikes you. Because if you live like a fool, it's definite that you face disasters. For an example, if you drink all night in the morning, you will have hangover, which is not nice. That's just a, pure, a simple result of what you've done. Yeah, you true. have taken the action, and then it has a, a direct, instant result. And then you, mm -hmm. <clears throat> since you, I will, I will laugh when disaster strikes you. I will yes. mock when calamity overtakes you. When calamity overtakes you, like a storm. Um, yeah. When you when you hear of Jesus, Jesus says there were there were two men. The other built this house on, on, on sand and the other one built this house on a rock. So when the storm came, the one built on the, on, on the rock stood, but the one built on sand just blew away with the, with the, with the rains. So you, you get to see such things. The foolish person, the one, the yeah. easy, quick thing. And the easy, quick thing is not strong enough to stand when the hard, quick, yeah. long things come. It's the yeah. same with everything. If you want quick things in your life, that yeah, means they will come, to go. they will go. It just, that's how it is. We all know yeah. this. But you see, in application, when there, there is, <clears throat> let's say, the squatter camps, we all know squatter camps. There are people who build yeah. squatter camps close to the rivers. And in rainy yeah. seasons, those squatter camps, because the first squatter camp to build their shack, it's quick and fast. When the, when the mm -hmm. rains come, it takes away that shape. Sure. Because you are okay. foolish, you do not like the long process. Forgive me. <coughs> you you do not want to take the longer process. You do not want the okay. patient way. You do not the, you do not want the hard way. 
you wanted the simple and quick way why yes. does it have to be quick and remember everything that happens quickly that means it won't last yes true. it never does it never <clears throat> does it never does we all know that i guess <laughs> yeah that, that is the highlight of, of it and um, yes. what proverb is yes. and how we should uh, rather live life or go on with our lives rather you know and in simpler terms that's how things will work out and be good for all of us if we learn to do that yeah. Yeah. Yes, true. So just to finish up with the last verses based on yes. the results, because we're just focusing on the results of wisdom and and then and, and what we call this and then foolishness. Yes, that yes. They will call me, they will call to me, but I will not answer. They will look for me and will not find me. So in this instance, you see, when disaster has hit you or when things have not gone the way you hoped they would go, you are now you would wish for things to be better but yeah. it won't be able, you won't be able to change the situation now let's say your shack has ran away with the water now you, it comes back to you that oh if i had done this a different way yes, yes. It, it would have been a different situation but now that wisdom is not there to be found because now you are just facing the consequence of your own foolish actions and then it goes down to say since they hated knowledge and did not mm. choose to fear the lord that's mm. why i said wisdom is a fear of the lord the fear of the fear lord is knowing the, the truth and the truth is as things are mm. since they did not accept my advice and spun my rebuke they will eat the fruit of their ways you see this is just the fruit of what you have done this is just a mm. result of your own of action what you have done, yeah. It's, it's not anyone else's. It's not something that is beyond your power. It's your choice. The wisdom called, you did not respond. Yes. Wisdom yelled out to you, saying, come, eat of my fruits. Eat of my fruits, or eat, of my, eat, of, or eat out of the yields of what I will bring as wisdom, because wisdom brings something. Yes. It continues to, to say, and be filled with the fruit of their schemes for the waywardness of the simple will kill them and the complacency of fools will destroy them but whoever mm. listens to me will live in safety and be at ease without fear of harm so going back to to that uh the one who builds his house on the rock when you build your house on the rock, when this when the storm comes, you are confident, you are not scared of anything, and you are safe. Mm. But yes. when you build your easy, quick, fast house or shack, when fall. the rain comes, you are always scared. You are always mm. not at peace. Mm. You are always you know you're not safe. Yes. Coming back you to shaking. You, you, you understand you're shaking, yeah. you're everything, the house is shaking itself and all that. Yes, yes. Yeah. That's so, understandable. Yeah, going through the what do you call this? The first uh, book of Proverbs. This is just Proverbs chapter one, and it's giving mm-hmm. us an overview of all the things that we we'll find in there. Yes, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's and true. lastly, in application. these kinds of things if you want to eat of your fruits if you want to eat of the fruits of what you have done you just mm-hmm. make good choices basically that's what proverbs tells you make good choices so that you get good results no oh, okay make good choices make good choices <laughs> get good results get good results Okay. I got that one. It's it's the word for today. Make good choices. <laughs> Get good results. Get good Proverbs results. The one. Oh. So, yeah, we'll hopefully 
do this again tomorrow. Same yes, time. yes, yes. Go Same time. And go through it's... Proverbs chapter 2. Yes. Today we're going through Proverbs chapter 1. To give an overview, mm-hmm. um, this book was written by King Solomon, King Solomon, the son of King David. So after King Solomon, after King David died, he gave his reigns to King Solomon. And King Solomon mm-hmm. was a young man who asked for wisdom from God. God gave him an opportunity to ask for anything. And he asked for wisdom so that he can be able to rule the nations of Israel which was a good choice to ask for wisdom. And here we have a share of that wisdom. And I love the fact that with the Proverbs, I came to learn that. I heard of many sayings, many motivational sayings, many idioms. You will will find all of them in the book of Proverbs. All of them. You can give me any saying, any idiom. When you go to the book of of, of Proverbs, you will find that saying. it amazes me. It blows my mind. So, so yeah. this, that's it for, for tonight. Hopefully we can just close it here. And have a great night ahead. Oh, yes. I think this was a, a good way of, of learning rather. And uh, it, taught, it teaches me still. I'm still learning uh, how to rather understand uh, these uh, sessions. And I think all in good timing, I will be also the one leading <laughs> yeah, in one of we'll these take the lead, maybe, maybe when we get mm-hmm. to, to, to Proverbs 31, you'll be the one to be like, this one, yeah, leave it to this the one Proverbs I know. 31 woman. <laughs> <laughs> that one I, yes, I yeah. think it's, it's only because we, we look at one, side of it and we say uh, I want to know this but not everything in it so this takes uh, time and understanding you know so yes it, it was a good session indeed and I think the prayer is needed again when you when you close it rather for us yes um, yeah we can close all of this with a prayer and i'll meet yeah. again tomorrow uh, at the okay. same time so all let right. us uh, close this with a prayer okay. heavenly father we thank you for helping us go through the book of proverbs i pray that god regardless of our human flaws we are going mm-hmm. to use this learning this education for good at the end of the day. Father, we know that you, Lord, have the ability to make even crooked things do straight things. That is why we applaud humans who try to go through your scriptures and try to decipher what your will is in those scriptures. And we pray that God will help us achieve a way to live our lives in a way that pleases you in a way that shows the in the way that shows reference to you because God we need to feel you and Father God live according to your will because you know what's best for us. We pray for all of this Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. You. Have a great night then everyone who joined us have a great night. Join us tomorrow we'll be going through the book of Proverbs chapter two. Today we are looking at the book of Proverbs chapter 1. So we went through the history of the book of Proverbs. And tomorrow we'll just continue with the book of Proverbs chapter 2. Hopefully we'll even reach 3 because we'll not go through the history again. Thank you. Yeah.